Over the next few lessons, I will teach a sequence that is at the heart of traditional Tai Chi. In some styles, it is called grasping the bird's tail. Some versions call it tying the coat or the lazy knot. I won't talk about the names and their meanings this time around because there is so much more to talk about. I will start with an approach to standing on one leg, which will include ways to align the pelvis and legs for better balance and agility. I will also talk a bit about articulating the waist and about the relationship between the upper waist and the lower waist, and also about understanding the vertical fulcrum while on one leg. This will take a few minutes. This section also includes the bow stance, or mountain climbing stance. In Mandarin, it's a gong bu. Now, how we step will affect stability, power, and agility. It teaches us to adjust the height and length of our stance in a way that doesn't compromise power or the ability to make sudden changes. The bow stance will also bring up issues about articulating the hips and switching the vertical axis between the right and left axial lines. In this section, I will introduce uh, stage one of the core breathing method and talk about the role of the lower core muscles in coordinating the movement and power of the extremities. This section, grasping the bird's tail, is an archetypal representation of the four fundamental internal shapes that are so important in Tai Chi. Known in Mandarin as Pang, Lü, Ji, and An, these are not merely choreographed techniques. They are ways of shaping the centripetal geodesics throughout the body. They are the key ways in which we learn to absorb and transfer momentum through the body. Pang, Liu, Ji, and An. In the process of learning this sequence, I will also introduce the concept of silk reeling power and the positive and negative circular movements that are found throughout all Tai Chi routines. And afterward, we will review these movements and I'll show some variations from the different styles. Now first let me talk you through the third section from the end of section 2, beginning Tai Chi. As you will see, this section, like each section in this routine, is performed on both sides and is taught in a way that allows each section to be repeated any number of times in a limited space. Right arm hugs the tree. Turn out the right toe. Weight on the right leg. Bring in the left foot. Step with the left and bow stance, ward off left. Holding the ball, weight on the left leg, bring in the right foot, step, right arm hugs the tree, and weight on the right leg. Turn the hands, roll back. Cramming. Extend the hands. Sink back. Press and push. Weight on the left leg. Turn in the right toe, pointing forward. Weight on the right leg. Pick up the left foot, feet parallel, shoulder distance apart, hands lower, the body lowers. Left arm hugs the tree, turn out the left toe, weight on the left leg, 
right foot comes in, step forward with the right foot, ward off right. Weight on the right leg, holding the ball, ring in the left foot, step to the left, left arm hugs the tree, pang, turn the hands, roll back, cramming, Extend the hands, weight on the back leg, press, and push, weight on the front leg. Weight on the right leg, turn the left toe forward, weight on the left leg, pick up the right foot, place the feet parallel, Shoulder distance apart, hands lower, the body lowers. <laughs> 